Hi there everybody, DJ Paul C from Wicked Sounds Entertainment here in Edinburgh. Uh, back with you once again with a couple of ideas and uh, some tips uh, for this time with lighting clamps. Uh, it's in response primarily to the video that uh, DJ Big Dog did uh, regarding using old clamps or 360 clamps depending on what you want to call them. Um, just a little bit of a tip uh, with uh, some of the styles of uh, old clamps that are out there. Uh, I've been using them for uh, a few years now and I find them ex extremely useful. So uh, I did find that uh, there was a slight uh, problem with some of them though. Now the ones that I've got uh, are these. These are the ones that are made by Chauvet, the CLP 10s. And uh, I found that uh, there's a slight design flaw, or certainly on the earlier ones that I've got, uh, there is a slight design flaw and uh, I don't know if it's been addressed on newer ones uh, by the looks of things on uh, some of the videos uh, it may well have been addressed but one of the problems that I found with these is that when you're actually clamping them together um, there is a little bit of a weak spot now the weak spot is there right on the u-shaped cutout where the thread of the bolt goes now these are a couple of years old, as I say, so I don't know if they've changed the design. But on these original design ones, the actual shank of the um, uh, of the nut or wing of the wing nut uh, was a little bit uh, slim. Uh, so when you actually tightened it up, it put some targeted pressure on this U-shaped cutout. Now, over time, I found that it started to separate the U-shape and uh, it made, made them extremely, um, what shall we say, uh, weak and it forced it out. Now, to get around that, what I've done is I've taken one of these, just a, a, a standard metal washer and inserted it onto the thread part of the bolt. So when you put the wing nut back on, it spreads out all that pressure and it stops that u-shape from wearing away or separating out okay uh, just a little tip um, it's made these last a lot longer uh, I still use some of them I don't use a lot of them anymore uh, because of the type of uh, trussing that I use now uh, but it certainly adds a little bit of life now as I say I don't know if it's been changed on newer designs uh, but it may well be still worth using uh, for, uh, to extend the life of uh, your old clamps or if you're finding that uh, you know the wearing down a little bit so there we go that's tip uh, for you right the next part of this uh, video is about a different style of lighting clamp now I don't know if uh, everybody's seen these these little babies here now these are what they call a quick release clamp uh, and I find these extremely useful. I'm using quite a lot of these now. I've probably got about 10 of them or so on, uh, on my lighting rig. And uh, because uh, the lights that I use now are extremely lightweight, all the LED equipment, these, I find, have become very, very, uh, very, very useful. Now, early in the life, there was a little bit of a, uh, a question mark over the, the durability of these. Predominantly because of the weight of the lights that were being hung from them obviously with scanners and so on and so forth you can be talking upwards 10 12 14 16 kilos in weight and more of course uh, and these were questionable as to whether they were actually capable of holding them sort of weights even though they were rated at that some people did report that they uh, they did break um, but they have changed a couple of things about the design uh, on the earlier ones uh, part uh, of the unit itself was plastic it's now been replaced by a completely metal uh, part which a will uh, add to the durability uh, so I think that's uh, probably the area that was uh, in question now I find these extremely useful and they're very 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 simple basically you've got two sections whilst it all looks one at the moment if you undo this little knurled ring here and then pull up on that section there it's spring loaded and that then pulls out oh don't try and drop it though <laughs> producing that now that section there fastens directly to your light that section there fastens directly to your truss and the both remain in place now when you come to marry the two together and hang your lights simply unscrew that to make sure that it's not blocking the tube and that then pushes straight inside 
so that tightens up like so and that is locked securely now as I say on the earlier models there was a we think a slight design flaw because when you put pressure on that against a plastic one of those that there right there used to snap and that is where the problems were and now I've got one of those oily plastic ones so far it hasn't snapped but then again I don't over tighten it but now that's in place with a metal one it should last a lot longer right let's show you it in action from the truss got the truss set up now and as you can see we've got the quick release clamp fastened to the truss now you can hang these in whichever way you want this one's hanging down I've got one here that is hanging across as well. Uh, this is what I put my mega bars on. This is what I hang my revos from. Okay, so we've got this fastened to the truss bar. Bolt through, that tightened up, and here is the, uh, the release rate, uh, screw, and there is the quick release clamp as well. Right, let's get my light. My trusty Revo 3, or one of them, anyway. Uh, as you can see, I fastened the other section, the bolt type section, onto the hanging bracket of the lamp. And that can stay there now. Uh, likewise, this can stay here. I no need to fasten any clamps to this bar at all. They're all in place, ready to go. Which means also, when you're using the same style of lighting setup every time, everything's in place, and you know where it all goes. You're not having to measure places out any longer. Okay, so we take that. We make sure that that is loose, that is free, we take the lamp, marry it up to that and voila, it's there, it's hanging, you can release your hands. Now that is not the last part, what you need to do then is to tighten back up that and there we go, it is now locked in place, it is not going to fall out even if you do pull that open, I wouldn't recommend it but even if you did pull it open again it isn't going to fall out because that is holding it in place. Now how quick is that? Then you just rotate your light into place, so on and so forth, voila, all done and dusted. Spaced out exactly as you need it because you leave these in place every time. Now I love these things, I'm going to be buying some more. I'll put the details at the side of this video as to where I got them from and also a link to the manufacturer's website. They're actually made by a company called Prolight or certainly here in the UK Prolight distribute them under the banner of the Rhino clamp uh, range and uh, uh, Rhino lighting uh, stand range. Uh, there is a link on their website. Now, I'm not sure about suppliers in the UK. I've not had many places that I've been at a track down that supply them. Uh, in the US, I'm not sure also. But if you contacted Prolight, I'm quite sure that they would put you in touch with the people that will be able to supply them. There is, price-wise, there is the same price as the old clamps, about five or six pounds each. They don't cost very much. They are great. I love them.